Hello everyone, just a quick tutorial today on workspace management. So by this I mean the layout of everything here, all these windows. So when we go to settings and go down to layout settings, you'll see that when you go to switch to, there'll only be one, and that's the default. That's how it is laid out now. You can change it though to your liking. For example, if you want a bigger preview screen, but a smaller timeline and a smaller library, then all you do is drag things down and up and across. This will change the size of things. So now you can see that I've made the timeline small, I've decreased the size of the library, but now we have a big preview window. You can do the same thing to everything. You can have a small preview window and a bigger library and a bigger timeline. Whatever you want, it doesn't matter how you want it, you can have a big timeline as you can see there. However it is that you want it, just put it as it is. So I want my new one like this. And then you go to settings, layout settings, save to, and then you can choose one of three, custom one, two, and three. As none of them have been used, I'm gonna choose custom one. And then when we go back to layout settings, you'll see when it goes to switch to, that we are now using custom one. Now if you're not happy with this or you want to change it for some reason, just click on default again and you'll see it's reverted to how it was before. So it's just a very, very simple thing. Um, if you don't, don't want the original workspace, you can change it and save it if you want to. So like I say, just a really quick tutorial today. Hopefully you find that useful um, and you might use it in the future. Thanks for watching.